In this video, I'll be installing OpenGApps 12 on Lineage 19 and then installing the over-the-air update for Lineage 12 while preserving GApps. At the time of this video, OpenGApps 12 actually hasn't been released yet, but I am installing a pre-release version and I'll put the links in the description below. So at this point, the device has just installed Lineage OS and I've rebooted to recovery without allowing Lineage OS to boot for the first time. This is the point when you want to install gapps. So here I've put it in ADB mode and then I've run the command ADB sideload and the gapps file and that will push it to the device. And then we'll just wait for it to install. I'm also doing this on a OnePlus 6T, so it's important to note that there are two versions of OpenGApps 12. One is 12 and one is 12L, and this device happens to be 12L, so just be sure to get the right package when the time of the release. Once it is successfully installed, we can just reboot the device. By restarting the system. So this is the first boot of Lineage OS. If you accidentally boot into Lineage OS before installing gapps, you'll have to factory reset first and then install gapps from recovery without booting into Lineage OS. So this is our first boot and we'll just go through the menus set up quickly. And once we're through, you'll see that indeed gapps is installed. I have installed the nano package as recommended by Lineage, which only installs the very bare minimum, but you can install the other gapps later. So as you can see, the Play Store is installed and you can sign in using your Google ID. First I have to add the Wi-Fi connection and then sign in. So now that I'm signed in, you can see that Google Play Store is working and you can install apps as you would normally. Now a big question is what happens if I install a Lineage over the air or OTA update? What happens to gapps then? Well, with the new latest gapps and Lineage OS, you don't have anything to worry. You can just simply update as you would normally. So going into the system, checking for updates, 
and then downloading the latest update. Here I'm downloading an older one because I want to do another video later showing that OTA updates also preserve root when you've installed Magisk. So once the download is ready and installed, you can just hit reboot. And when it is fully rebooted, you will see that the Google apps are still installed and everything is working and simple. This development has really come a long way since previous versions and it makes things a lot easier for us. So hopefully this helps you out by the time that OpenG Apps releases version 12. And again, remember to check which version, if there's a 12 or 12L for your device. Here, Play Store is still running. And there you have it. So we have indeed updated the OS and it is running on a newer version. Thanks again for watching and please subscribe.